Buddy, and welcome with Coffee with Dave. Limit options for failure, mitigate risk, cover your ass. Perhaps you have been in a pre-construction meeting or two, and these phrases were used. It's time to shift. Use modern day tools and enable modern methods of construction. As this week's guest, Dan Leach said, why are we still using buckets when we have fire engines? Construction technology surrounds us. Resources are ready, willing, and able to help. And beam calculators are not only at our fingertips, they are free. What are you waiting for? Grab your coffee and join the conversation today. And we have our special guest and co-host of BS Friday, Mark Baranaked Willie, is going to walk us through what's happened this week and what's coming up next week. Good morning, Mr. Willie. Dave, happy coffee with Dave. This is oh, great. Oh man, I know. I need some coffee this morning, boy. We've been we've been juggling and running and having a great time. So, Mark, what a great week we had this week, right? I mean, what a great show we had Friday. I mean, we lit up YouTube and LinkedIn with this uh, free beam calculator, which is a lot of fun. Good morning, April Burt. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us today. Um, but we we had a we had a big week to begin with, and we got a big week coming up next week. It's uh, well, you, you, you know what? It's been it's been a big couple of years, Dave. It's yeah, been yeah. a big couple of years, and uh, what I get a kick out of is the comments from everyone, and right, and and a lot of people that attend are also people that presented, right? These are these are yeah. peers of one another, and it's okay. really great that people um, take the time to uh, really applaud the works of other folks. Well, that's it. You know, when you put so much time and effort into something like, you know, this beam calculator and then you decide to put it out to the masses for free because it's what it's the right thing to do versus making money and putting it behind a paid wall. Um, one, it shows a lot about the person who did it because that person's putting a lot of trust that people are going to love it and hopefully donate and, and help him to keep running it. You know, so that's the first side. So talk about putting your money where your mouth is uh, to, to make something happen. But right. I think this is it's a true sign of how our industry is. This is what people believe in, Mark. And in our industry, they are so willing to help each other. You know, uh, I, I got my notebook, Dave. Last night, I was invigorated by that conversation. Um, Amy Marks is here. Rob Howard is here. Uh, truly, we need to find sponsors to help us out, right? Um, yeah. sponsor, sponsors are important for all organizations. And uh, we also, uh, you have a great, you and Jennifer have an incredible reach to communities. These communities have an option of bringing this on and sharing it. So I think, right. I think, I think a year from now, we're going to be like, holy, holy cow, it's been a year since being, uh, being, I keep on wanting to call it bean because I've watched all your coffee beans now, but uh, <laughs> it, it is in fact beam. <laughs> I love it. It is, in fact, it is, in fact, beam. Uh, we're not talking about beans. We're talking about beam. All right, Mr. Willie, let's go through what we talked about this week, and then let's get into uh, next week. So I got some special captions made to keep it easy for you because I know you're not on all of the shows all week long. But why don't we, why don't we start off, you know, process plus product equals progress, right? So and we're continuing this theme as we go through our Monday expert interview, which was a great interview, by the way. We had uh, Rich Rizicki on from Crate Modular. And as he said, asking the right questions before you start manufacturing off-site solutions is key, right? Ask before you start. And you don't have to start big. And I know Amy Marks is in the, in the, in the background there. I'm sure she has something to say on this. But, you know, this is such an important thing. Questions to ask before you start manufacturing offsite solutions. What are they? What are the questions? You know, and I think you have to start with the end in mind. What are you looking to achieve? And you're in manufacturing with T Stud. What's your thoughts on that? So it, it, it the confines of site built are how most people's brains are wired. That's right. Right, that's the experience they bring forward, and it, it was serendipitous, Dave, when you started this that Gary Fleischer joins. So, um, when when you <clears throat> let's let's give a food analogy, right? That's right? When you're ready for Chinese food, you don't go to an Italian restaurant. Yep. So when you think in the world of modular, 
go to those experts and put the process there. Don't walk into that door with your other experiences, right? I mean, it's, um, it's a roadmap. Follow the roadmap. It'll get you there and the places you never even knew existed. That's right. You know, and, and we have to embrace technology today, right? I think this is a big thing as well. You don't need to have robots in your factory. You don't need all of those things, but you need to start embracing, you know, 2D, 3D, BIM technology. Uh, and there you go, Jen wrote it in the comments. Nail it before you scale it. You need to know what you're wanting to build, where you're going with it, you know, and what kind of process you're gonna have. I mean, if you're gonna do custom one-offs, you're always gonna be scrambling, it's the bottom line. You're always gonna be reshaking and re retooling every time. So uh, it's a big, big deal to, to understand the embrace it. I love, I do love that comment, nail it before you scale it, but we need to embrace technology. It's here, it's a shame. It, it, like, you know, like in the opening statements, why are we still using buckets when we have fire trucks? It makes no sense. Yep, uh, Benson Wood has has a has a, a a a thing in their process, right? Once it's all decided, yep. then they move to the next phase. There's there's right. progress points to exceed. Uh, our friend Stephen Oka, right? They have their sim process. They do. And everyone has their unique thing because they've dialed it in based on the groups that they work with. So uh, right. obviously Crate Modular is a wonderful rep reputation. And I love those quotes. Awesome, Jen. Yeah, perfect, perfect. All right, so that was Monday. So if you missed it, guess what? It's available for you on the YouTube channel. So make sure you go there, check it out, and make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe and watch the video, go and share it to your social media on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. Good morning, Jerry McCahi. I see you popped in as well. And I think I saw Rob Howard in there as well this yeah. morning. I don't think we said hello to Rob. Uh, I love it. All right, Wednesday product spotlight, Mark. Wednesday product spotlight. We were all the way in England. We had Dan Leach on from TDS, the design services group, right? Um, and they are doing something that no other engineering firm that I'm aware of, I'm sure maybe other people out there are aware of it, but I'm aware of, they're owning the product all the way from the design through manufacturing through delivery what does that mean they're making sure their bomb and their bim and everything is working exactly the way it needs to work for the manufacturing process they're taking on the responsibility of not only the design work make sure the manufacturing process is in place and goes efficiently all the way through the delivery who doesn't want somebody to manage a process like that and they're using their own technology to do it they would need to because it didn't exist. And most groups have handoff periods, right? There's different uh, integrals. Wonderful yeah. to see that they've got that all encapsulated. They do, you know, and like they said, there's three ways to modernize construction. That's with training and education, the use of technology and standardization. Now, Jerry may, Jerry may fight me on that. Maybe you won't, but uh, I love a good fight. Let's go. No, I'm just kidding. Jerry, Jerry very much believes in standardizing. I was going to say, Jerry will fight <laughs> for you, Dave. Uh, Jerry, yeah. <laughs> Jerry will fight I know, but he's, he's Irish. You, you say fight, his blood starts going. He gets all worked <laughs> up, you know. <laughs> it's early for him. i got to be careful with Jerry. It's probably like 5.30 in the morning where he's at. <laughs> he, he's, all right, so definitely, yep. definitely need to watch that. Uh, if you're interested in somebody that's going to own the project for you from start to finish, then you definitely want to tune in to our Wednesday product spotlight show. It was an amazing show. Uh, and hey, listen, while I have all these people watching, you got to tune in this upcoming Friday. We have Shemaine Nugent on, Gary Fleischer, Shemaine Nugent. That's right. Ted Nugent's wife is going to be on the show talking about her new documentary and upcoming book release called Killer House. Mold, mold almost killed her uh, in her house. And uh, yeah, it was the big house they built for MTV Cribs, believe it or not. That house no longer stands, ripped down to the bones. There was no way of fixing it. They lost all their, pro all their materials in it. So uh, it's, a, it's a heck of a story. And it's beautiful when we see people high profile that are willing to put themselves out there and fight for building science because that's what she's been doing. So it's super cool. All right. I, 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 I knew it was going to come. I was thinking of acronyms when you were going through what Crate said, and, and Jerry's got the F-I-O-S-S, -S, right? Uh, beautiful thing. All groups, Dave, in the modular world, they create new language. The offsite yep. community creates new language. That's right. Their methods haven't existed before. 
And uh, when you're not sure what they are, that's when you go to the YouTube channel because a glossary of definitions is what Dave Cooper Live brings you. Nice yeah. happy there. Yeah, I figured I'd show that off a little bit. The sun's getting ready to get in my eyes, so I got it. See, there it is. Shining on my bald head. Uh, but you're right, our glossary of definitions. Uh, Mark, this was the big topic of the week, uh, BS Friday, right? Chris Magwood. I mean, what a huge topic. I mean, there was a lot of people showed up for this show. I mean, they just came out of the woodwork on all the social media channels. The, the, the folks that showed up in YouTube were interesting. Some of those folks I haven't seen for years. Yeah. Uh, right. And, you know, social media is interesting because you're going to get a handful of folks that pick up on it. Yep. And then there's that top of the stair and then it falls down the stair or up the ladder, depending on how you analyze it. So while there's not, there's not really anyone in the high performance space, Dave, that doesn't know who Chris is. However, what he has is really going to reach the 95%. So that means the site build folks, the factory folks, the manufacturers, the layman's, the consumers, we never had calculators before, but it's more than a calculator. That's right. It is actually giving you options for your wall, for your cladding, for this, that, and the other, your insulation. So it is, uh, I mean, calculator. It's a shopping tool. Yeah, it's a cart. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a shopping cart that happens yeah. to have a calculator. I mean, we, we know that, that that shopping centers don't put calculators on our shopping carts for a reason. That's right. That's right. They should have a scanner so they can see how much crap you're taking into your body, right? Every time you pick somebody's product. Um, but well, the reality of... Crap in your body is what he said, right? It's the nutritional <laughs> facts of the yeah, yeah. industry. Right. That's right. That's exactly what it is. So, I mean, in layman's term, if you're building a house, you know, or a small, you know, commercial building, you can use this tool to put in your products, what you're using. It's going to help you understand what the carbon footprint is that you are building. And when you have, when you're using a material that throws your, your, your carbon way out of whack, it's going to show you other options that you can use uh, in place of that product. And that's what's super cool about this. So uh, super excited for him. And, and guess what? I mean, like you said, this is, this is kind of open source. He's hoping people are going to donate to it. This isn't sponsored by one or two uh, manufacturers of products that want to see, sell their product. It's open source, and it's very, uh, it's very unedited, just like Dave Cooper Live. You know, you know, Dave, the sponsors that it needs to get, and, it, and, it, and I'm sure it will get, will be someone outside of our industry. Yep. It, it will be, it'll be a Dell, right, or it'll be a Coca-Cola or a John Deere. It'll, it'll be someone that says, you know what, uh, we see, we see the, the power of carbon counting, right, of, of, the, of, of, of noting the embodied material, of noting the operating and uh, yep. we we want that for everyone, and and it'll just roll out and uh, beautiful thing. It'll probably come on your iPhones, right? It'll just be something that's integrated, and then yeah. there'll be the next best thing, and that's that's how life goes. That is that is so. Make sure you guys check it out. Uh, please support Chris and what he's doing too. If you go there and look at the Beam Calculator, copy the link in the URL and you know just share it on your social media page. It's amazing that they took the time to do it. And I know there you go. Hey, Mateo, good morning. Um, Mateo was asking some questions yesterday that, and you know Jerry and so many other people showed up. So really love it. All right, Mark, let's get into uh, let's get into next week. What do we have coming up next week? Other than we already announced the BS Friday show, yep. um, but we're gonna. We're going to start off with the future of sustainable building R&D with St. Cobain. That's right. We're going to have the head of R&D on, and we're going to talk about what St. Cobain is doing within their facilities to discuss the future of their products and how are they addressing sustainability. How, are they, how is a big company like St. Cobain going to address sustainability, build products that are going to work for tomorrow's builds? That's what we're going to talk about. It should be a great show. Um, you know, and it's funny, Mark. We have, uh, we, you know, Seiko Bain, when you get to these big companies, it's like you have their, you have their 
marketing people and their press people. Well, you know, we, I'm like, it's unedited. Well, we use, I, I got an email that actually, um, um, uh, you know, we don't throw anybody under the bus on this show. We just support people that are trying to make a difference and do right. stuff better. <laughs> you know, I'm going, you know, but it, it's, it's funny. It's you, you, you get all these layers involved in, uh, you know, and I know they're just trying to protect what their reputation as being so big. They can get, you know, they can get thrusted on a catapult pretty quick, but, uh, It'll be fun to have them on. This is a big player. I, I, I can't say I blame companies of any side because most media outlets have yep. uh, an, 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 an agenda based on sensationalism. Yep. And what you and Jennifer put together is an agenda to lift up the industry and, and to connect what's going on. So when you come from that place, it's only for the betterment, and, yeah. and 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 I think that um, I think that that example you set is for others to copy, and then there won't be any words. There will be yeah. there will be more sharing, more collaboration. Yeah, there definitely will be. And you're right, Jerry. Saint Cobain also does own an integrated offsite manufacturer in the UK. Which, by the way, I'm going to be in the UK. So if you're going to be there. The week of June 23rd, we are speaking at the New Zealand Embassy House. That's right, we are speaking. We're going to be over there speaking with uh, Mark Farmer, Modernize or Die, uh, and, and plenty other. Jen, you can put up some names. Amy knows some of these people that will be there. We're going to be on a panel, and uh, believe it or not, we're, uh, we're the, I think we're the kickoff keynote for this whole event over there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited about it. We're going to talk about the future of technology, how we see it moving, Mark. And we're going to be up there with some other experts from around the world uh, kind of talking about what we see is happening. So I'm super how excited. Long, uh, how long are you guys going uh, to the United Kingdom? Yep, be there probably Saturday through Saturday or Sunday through Sunday is kind of what we're looking. And we're going to be, Amy, if you're out there, we're going to be looking to set up some other visitations and some other shows while we're there. We're going to catch some great content while we're there and bring it back to all of you so you can see what they're doing. Do you know, um, uh, are the kids going with? No, no, they're going to be uh, getting ready to get back into regular schooling. Okay. Um because, uh, you know, in Cambridge, Adam just finished uh, the zoo. Yeah. When, and your lodging, <laughs> babe, the animals are around your lodging. They're incredible. Yep. So uh, that, was the, that was not his uh, membrane company. That was his timber frame company. Right. So if you want to go there, uh, we'll make sure you get a villa. And you oh, I love it. Offense. Yeah, well, we may, we may do that. I wonder how big that is and how far out the U.K. is. Because uh, I know uh, with the program and everybody's looking at where to where to put people now so it might be an interesting Four to five minutes outside of london yeah okay well yeah let's talk offline on that and see where that takes us i love it yeah there you go we're going to be with jamie johnson from steel horizon um jamie was a uh, speaker at advancing prefab uh, as well jamie is very well known in this industry uh and super excited to uh super excited to be sharing a stage with people like him and mark farmer and some others I love we it. All right. Together, Dave. What's that? Jamie and Mark and I went to high school together. Oh, you went to you went to high school with Jamie Johnson <laughs> in England. Yeah, I busted your chops. Uh, you went it, to high school it, with everybody else. It seems like. That's right. That's right. Uh, perfect. Well, um, okay. So those are the dates for your time in the UK. We'll talk offline. And now you've got uh, Mark Farmer and Jamie. Uh, this is a highlight. This is a this is a highlight. Going into summer uh, is not a time to to tune out. It's a time to tune in, and uh, I think many many folks that that have uh, compromising schedules. I think uh, I get the comments that the YouTube is where it's at for them. They can they can they could click into that on their own time and they could catch up. And and when you catch up, don't just take out your notebook. Take out your mobile device, take a photograph, and share and tag. Share and tag. Share and tag. Share and tag. All right, well, let's get into one more topic. We're going to have Broad USA on Wednesday. That's our product spotlight. Stainless steel buildings. That's right. Stainless steel buildings, no concrete floors, uh, multiple stories, multiple mid-rise stories. Uh, you definitely want to tune in for this. Broad's been doing it for a long time. Now, something that they said that really surprised me, I yep. don't know if it's true or not, their manufacturer is in China, um, 
but they said they can produce 100,000 square feet of building a day in their factory with the technology so they're building. That's for the floor area? Or are they doing, are they doing Don't walls? Don't have to tune in to find out, Mark. Yeah, there's the catch. There's the, <laughs> um, there's the catch. But 100,000 square feet of anything's a lot in a day. You know, uh, so they, they, must, they must have done some unique engineering. Uh, if they can eliminate the concrete and still get the rating and code, that's really interesting, Dave. And that's a huge yeah. value. Um, it sound is. Simulation. Yeah, my mind is in a couple places on that. So Wednesday's the day. Tune in. Yep. Wednesday is the day for that. You want to see it. This is all stainless steel construction. I can't express that enough. There is no heavy steel in these buildings, and they are doing multiple stories. It's 10 times lighter than concrete. Um, sure. It was probably one of the more innovative things that I've seen. It was They were at World of Modular. Okay. Uh, and, you know, you always find the greatest things in the 10 by 10 booths. Always. Well, you know, that's, they're a big company. They're not a small company either. You know, uh, in, we talked about it yesterday, right? Innovation is everywhere, but the, the uptake to it comes to with awareness. And yeah. um, this is why you you present on a, on a show like Wednesday. And this is why you attend on a show like Wednesday, because you're not going to get this from a Google search. Nope. You're definitely not. Definitely not ever. And not only on this show, but all the other shows that you do as well. Um, good morning, Gilbert Meyer from Honduras and Bob Kelly from Chicago. Good to see you all. Um, love, love when those guys tune in. They're doing some great stuff as well. And, of course, I got you said hi to Gary Fleischer, but we always got to give a shout-out to Gary. Gary's doing awesome things, so I want to make sure we highlight Gary and all the stuff that he's doing behind the scenes as well. So, Mark? How does anyone keep up with Gary Fleischer? Uh, so, Dave, the interesting thing is – the world of modular folks that you met and the advancing prefab at the at the at the last two back-to-back -back conferences in the west uh yep. you know i wasn't able to attend but the fact that you're bringing them on for us to watch virtually um yeah it makes me so happy because i didn't have to go to texas to to to, to meet these folks so thank you there you're welcome anytime you know, and we're going to keep doing that, you know, not only with this, but we got the Innovative Housing Showcase on the Mall coming up next month in Washington, D.C. And there's right. going to be uh, there's going to be folks uh, displaying their goods at the Innovation Housing Showcase. Also, put it on your calendars. I am the uh, Master of Ceremonies in Atlanta for the Building Systems Council Week. So uh, I will be doing all the awards and, and, and hopefully helping uh, get through the show with uh, very little hiccups and having a lot of fun in Atlanta. And... While I'm in England, I'm going to have some late nights because I'm also moderating Building Systems Week, the virtual event, the same week I'm in England. So uh, if I got some bags under my eyes, let me know. It's getting busy, but we're having so much fun, and we're so grateful that everybody's allowing us to be part of their lives, you know? Well, because, because you're the delivery vehicle of making those connections uh, so, possible, right, the, with full credibility. Yeah, I, I love it. So, Mark, what do you got? What do you got coming up this week? Give us give us a little bit of insight. Uh, I have to come down from this past week. It was so busy with events. Uh, so this is a taper week. So I go in. You know, every other week is a ramp up, ramp down for yeah. me. So uh, this week I don't have to catch. <laughs> every, a taper. Yeah, it's a taper week for Mark. Everyone in construction. It's because he's old and tired. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I have to prepare for them because you know what it takes behind no, the scenes to get this going. Um, and so, you know, next week is an, is is easy. Sean and I go live on Tuesday talking about experience, past files. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, um, uh, 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 why am I at a block? Uh, the, the, the orders group is on. Um, the showcase and then um yeah i just get a break i get a total break of of the nighttime shows just rehearsals interviews right um and i've got some interesting rollouts coming that i can't talk about but i want to come on rollouts like give us a hint um 
uh, we're, I'm, I'm doing a little switch up uh, to help the world of mock-ups. You know, I love a mock-up, yeah. Dave. And so, <laughs> well, you know, it's like, um, let's let's face it, the amount of materials that have come into our life in the last five years are incredible. And if folks don't do a mock-up, by the time you start, let's say you, you've got a house with 60 windows, if you did the mock-up, those windows are going to go clickety-click. If you don't do a mock-up, now you got to hand-hold 60 windows. So a mock-up is that whole shell absolutely there. Uh, we have AIA coming up in, in, in June in Chicago. Uh, so a lot of people will be uh, going there for the, the larger organization of architects. So when, it, when is that one? So that is... Uh, Flip in my notebook as paper is faster. Uh, AIA is the 22nd through the 25th of June. Uh, and right before that is NeoCon. Yep. NeoCon is the, I believe, the 5th through the 9th of June. And that's um, uh, at the Merchandise Mart. Um, so all, both, both great venues. Right. You want to go? You want to go watch a Cubs game, Dave? Yeah, I'm up for a Cubs game. I got a, I got, I got a great beer drinking game with that. Makes it fun. I'll share it with you offline. There may be underage kids on here. Well, yeah, it's you're talking about ginger beer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Root beer. Take you me out to the ball game. game. And and it it does look fun. More than a calculator. Right options for your build. I love these comments coming in here. Oh, yeah. it's a great Saturday. It is. It is a great Saturday. Who's that from? Let me look here. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's Jen putting that in. Yeah, that's the host. That's me. <laughs> Says host. I guess that's me. So, well, with that said, Mark, uh, we're we're a little uh, we're a little behind schedule this morning, but you know we got we got so much going on behind the scenes that sometimes that happens. But look at that. Look how many people tuned in to join us this morning. I think it's amazing. And I think it's awesome. We're going to have a fun week. Definitely, definitely put on your calendar um, Friday. We definitely uh, want to show our support to Shemaine Nugent, who I think you're going to find is such a pleasant person, like super awesome. I, I, can't, I can't say enough. My, at least my experience and my conversations with her. You know, right. this, whole, this whole journey, Mark, um, has, has led us into a circle of people uh, that have influence. And if they're willing to get the word out on what we want to share, uh, whether whether you like certain people or not, we you know that that that's something the rest of us don't have. So we need to tap into it, and hopefully they can help us spread our word, and we can help spread their word. Well, it's a it's it's a it's a subject that needs to reach. Uh, remember the lemon pledge test, Dave, from one of our early episodes. Um. Well, they, probably. Go ahead. They sprayed the, 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 the lemon pledge in the crawl space, and then they, right. could, and they could smell it in the house, and they realized that their house oh, that's right. yep. problem. So uh, a title like Killer House is powerful, and it's powerful for a reason, because of uh, the scary episode that, they've, that they dealt with, right? right? To the extent, as you said, you had to take down the house. So there's other folks completely completely unaware that that's why their health and their head is behaving the way it is. So right. this message has to get out and uh, this is the right place to do it. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, and Jen also in the links, uh, she did put some notes up there for how to join that. We have an event set up on LinkedIn, so make sure you go there and sign up for that event so you get notified or better yet, right on the youtube channel hit that subscribe hit that bell and you will be notified every time we go live that way you don't miss stuff there if you haven't noticed we're really trying to grow our youtube channel linkedin is a blessing for us but linkedin is also limited on the things that we can bring to you and what we can do on a regular basis and that's the importance of it um so make sure you subscribe if you're not mark <clears throat> this is going to be an exciting week man looking forward to it yeah, the that calendar events are there. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But you have Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday to share, and Saturday to sip coffee with Dave. 
Coffee with Dave. That's right. And uh, this morning I am drinking some Black Rifle Coffee, who, by the way, is not a sponsor, but Black Rifle Coffee, if you're listening, I am a vet. You could sponsor us. And you know what? We could provide coffee at all of our events from Black Rifle. I'd love it. And support our vets at the same time. You know what? The blue hat, the red shirt, at events, coffee with Dave, Black Rifle with everyone. Beautiful thought. That's it. So if anybody knows anybody at the Black Rifle Coffee Place, tell them I love their coffee and we want to check it out. All right, there it is again. Go to our LinkedIn page, Killer House with Shemaine Nugent, Friday the 20th. Hope you guys can all join. That's a wrap, Mark, unless you got something left. That's a wrap. What do you, Happy what do you Saturday. got? Happy Saturday. See you on Monday. Monday it is. Everybody will have a good weekend. Enjoy your time with your family. We're maybe going to the beach here in a little bit in the Gulf of Mexico. Enjoy yourselves. Bye now. Bye now.